As the school years come to an end, teachers and their students have been grieving lost time together. The owner of a Minnesota school bus company has been missing his young friends too. We first told you about John Held four years ago. Tonight we got an update, but first Boyd Hooper reshares the story of the man in the red cap. The grays before the dawn give way to the ambers of a new day. There comes my little Kendall doll. But it's the man in the red cap. Hi, Kendall. Who signals morning. Hey, my little slugger's here. At Kenyon Wanamingo School. My little slugger Luke is here, all right. Hey, Lydia. Lydia and Luke. Oh, Nora. 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 And Katie. Hey, Katie. Neither a name nor an arrival. Here's my little peanut. Missed. Hey, Sydney. Every morning. And every afternoon. Anthony? Red cap. Yeah. And yellow buses. Who owns them? I do. The colors that define <laughs> John Held. I have never been in a place where I have seen such hands-on involvement. Hey, Ryan. I'm a bus owner. Hi, Lydia. He's there every day. Principal Katie Sherman assured us nothing in the district's transportation contract spells out anything like this. Whoa! nor the boxes of candy he dispenses on Fridays. I buy the Starburst and Balls. Yeah. I know this crew. Nor the backpacks and yearbooks he pays for. Hi. He finds out who might not have a Merry Christmas and purchases gifts for those kids. Corbin. Nor 65 hey. boxes. Natasha. Of Girl Scout cookies. Mm -hmm. Purchased because the man in the red cap <laughs> couldn't say no. Well, I, I don't eat them. <laughs> I give them away, but, well, I eat some of them. No, he doesn't have to do this. Hi. How are we today, Sophia, huh? It melts my heart. It really melts my heart. Watched him grow up. Yet the man who lives for children <laughs> was blessed with just one of his own. Didn't see it coming. John and his wife. So lived through a series of miscarriages. It would have been your son. Yep. The last. Yep. Approaching full term. He was going to be Jackson. How you doing, buddy? Yeah. A lot of people think that's why I have this connection now with, with kids. I think I see my destiny. John doesn't know if this is filling a void. Whoa! -ho -ho. Only that his life couldn't possibly be fuller. This, this young girl here has given me a hug every day since her first day of kindergarten. Every day. Which helps explain something else sharp viewers may have noticed. Whoa, you got that red cap on today, don't you? Somebody asked him for a hat. He provided it for everybody. Every child in last year's first and second grades. 144 caps. $1,044. Yep. Best money John's ever spent. I want the families to know that their kids are always going to be safe because I'm going to always be watching them. The man so. in the red cap. Love you, sweetheart. Love you, too. Has Kenyon one of Mingo's kids covered? You can't. Boyd Hooper, Care 11 News, Kenyon. Hi, Dakota. John never got a chance to say goodbye to his young friends when schools shut down for the year, but he's been busy. For the past few weeks, John and his drivers have been delivering lunches from school cafeterias to students in Kenyon, Wanamingo, and other surrounding communities, of course. He worries he still won't be able to give his students a hug when they return to school in the fall. He calls it his greatest source of sadness. It's okay, John. It'll come around. We'll be back. And snacks might be approved in the fall, right? We could still maybe do snacks. Other ways to show affection.